welcome to another video and welcome to another studio vlog now monday it's a new week and um the end of last week and this week i've been trying to work on patreon stuff um to get some content ready i like to schedule some posts and stuff like that and today i've also been working on scheduling um some posts for instagram and also trying to do some reels as i was taking product photos for getting ready for the um, the second sale that is going to happen next Sunday on my shop um, so I've been uh, trying to what they call like the Instagram kind of people call like batch creating um, so that I have like content to post when I'm most busy or something like that or like something it's not happening like something exciting is not happening and throughout this week I've been trying to I'm going to try to post reels showing like the um, the second product what is wrong with them what people can expect and something like that um, so I've been trying to get it ready uh, film and edit at the same time and all of that while I've been taking product photos I've been doing Patreon stuff that's the um, the Patreon printable for this month I did like a color palette uh, collection I'm going to show you in a little bit and I've also been trying to uh, do some freebies I had some leftover uh, stickers so I basically cut them and that is going to be the freebies for April so yeah let me show you the printable for Patreon and what I have ready for the second sale already so this is the printable that I was mentioning it so basically I did a color palette collection for my patrons um, so they can use some of my color palettes and stuff like that um, and it has been really fun because I posted it and they can um, some of the color palettes they can associate with some of the collections on the shop so it's actually quite cool and I think it will be super handy for myself as well to have like a color palette ready so I can just go back to it and use it so that will be that has been super super fun I also have the um, digital downloads the wallpaper um, and some posts ready to get posted so I don't have to worry all about that actually on Friday my boyfriend Rui took the um, the key to the house and the studio with him like my keys um, so I had to wait for Mariana to come to the studio Ugh, it was such a mess you might have seen some footage before <laughs> like in the end in the beginning of the video uh, where I was like in a coffee shop like working and stuff like that because I was just basically waiting for Mariana to arrive in the studio so I can enter here and then I left the house and I didn't have the key to go back so I had to wait in the coffee but it was okay it was a nice um, way to I don't know work in a different setting and stuff like that but yeah um, let me show you how the second uh, sale is going okay so I already took photos of all of these we have the mugs and I've put some numbers um, in the bottom like in the pencil and I'm just erasing it before sending them out uh, because they have specific um, things wrong with them and they are very unique because they are seconds um, so yeah you'll be able to choose which mug you want because of the mountain ones I have like four mugs um, and if you ever wonder why mugs are so expensive um, at least for me this is why because I always end up with a lot of seconds I don't know my press doesn't work it's not perfect it's like the cheapest press and it came together um, with that one they like it was like a set so it's not the most amazing press for mugs so I always Always end up with a lot of seconds but I also think I have to push them a little bit inwards so that doesn't happen because it's always in the corners anyway I'm going to add an option so you can choose which one of the mugs you can choose um, you can get and then I also have the little mouse ones um, and I also have this one for the planets and then I also showed you last week the um, sticker um, sets that I did and the cards and stuff like that I had to open a few to take photos of the um, the stickers and all of that then Mariana already mounted all of these bundles for bookmarks and these bundles will come for between three or four bookmarks depending on the issues that they have if they don't have like big issues you'll get three bookmarks but if you get like a bookmark with a bigger problem you'll get four bookmarks so let me show you you an example so this one will have four bookmarks because this one comes like this um, but these ones only have like um they have the wrong 
uh, back. I've printed them differently. I forgot to change them and they both have like the logos and stuff. Then this one will come with three bookmarks because they only have like the wrong uh, back and front. And then this one will also have like four bookmarks uh, because this one has like my printer ran out of ink. So one of them, of them don't have like the right colors, but then all the others only have like the, the mismatch um, front and back. So yeah, that's the example for the bookmarks and they all come in like this already made bundles. Uh, there are several other designs in here and it's like mystery bags as it is for the stickers and for the notepads. And I also opened this one so I can take pictures. They will come with around 35 sheets of various um, designs. Uh, some of them have larger problems. Some of them had, um, these ones are perfect. They, they are just like leftovers um, from notepads and stuff. That's about for the notepads. And then I have the notebooks. I have this one um, that I've printed like the wrong uh, inside covers. And these ones I have in A6 and A5 because yeah, I basically printed them out and I only noticed in the end. Then I have the B1 who has like a little scratched on the back. These ones have the wrong colors. They are a little bit more orangey than I wanted it. Uh, my printer needed a cleaning. Um, I had I changed like the, um, the cartridges and I didn't do a cleaning so the colors were coming out like this and the same with these positivity ones and then these coffee ones also have like the the wrong inside cover all these products are like limited uh, because they are second so I didn't want it to do them um, and hopefully they won't be repeated um, <laughs> I always have seconds but my goal is not to have them but they still happen so they are limited and all of that um, as well as the mugs and all of these oh I forgot to show you this one you might have seen me making this a few weeks ago for patrons I think it was part of the November maybe just January goodie box. Uh, so these ones will be in the second sale as well. You'll be able to choose the color um, and each color has like an associated kind of problems. Um, like this one is a little burnt here on the sides. Then some of them are like a little bit out of focus um, and the print is not as I wanted it like this one. Um, and I actually did front and back for this one because yeah, this was super bad. So I, do, I was doing experiments. Then these socks are already on the shop but I also have like oh this one is a mess right now let me clean the table so I'm going to have these socks that have like this white thing in one of the sides like one of the sides is perfect but the other one has something like this these ones uh, the Halloween ones are already in the shop as seconds and then I have these ones that only one of the sides um, it's like it had a little of ghosting and it also came out of place so this happened but it's only in one of the sides in one of the socks and i also have this tote bag um that it had like a crease when i put them in the press so it didn't press in this uh, little corner uh, over here so yeah i've been taking photos of all of these um and sometimes for seconds it takes a while because i have to take photos of all the details all the little problems and all of that and making the listings i think it's one of the things that takes me a while because i have to explain everything and all of that but at least the photos are ready uh, now i'm going to have like a full marathon of editing the photos and also editing the ones i took uh, for the earrings for the pre-order so that uh, will be done as well i want to make some uh, more earring designs and also the necklaces and all that so that's why I still haven't released like a date for the earrings pre-order but as I said um, I think it was last week's vlog I want to do these seconds ones and get that out of the way get some space in the studio get my shelf a little bit clean um, and then move on to the earring pre-order and all of that um, so yeah one step at a time as you can see it's a lot of products it takes a while and all that but yeah i'm going to just sit down on the computer edit the photo and then we'll see about the earring pre-order in a week or two yeah i'm going to just sit down and <laughs> edit photos uh for a few hours now I 
don't think I ever showed on a vlog how I edit my photos. So basically I have all the photos that I took over here. I already, se already selected um, the better ones like that are focused and all of that. And I have this Photoshop file over here and I basically just um, drop a few each time. So my computer just doesn't crash and I start to apply them um, on this file that I have on, Shop on Photoshop. And I'm pretty sure like on Lightroom or something, this will be a lot faster. You know, it's just what I use, I guess. <laughs> After they are all on this file, I basically just um, mess up with a few settings. I use the brightness um, and contrast tool. I just use a little bit and then I use the exposure ones and a little bit with the offset and gamma correction, correction just so not too dark or too light and you can already see a big difference in here. And then I add another exposure over here that I just basically go up and down um, as I need to if the photos are a little bit uh, darker or lighter or something like that. Like some pictures will need a little bit more exposure so I just click view and if they don't need it I just take it out and it makes it everything um, a little bit easier and then I just save them and I just name them numbers as you can see over here I have like a big list um, of numbers in here and I just save them like now this will be the 37 and I save them as JPEG and I don't really save them in a really high resolution because it's for the website I only have like a certain amount of um, storage in there as well and they don't really need to be like high quality or anything so I just save them like this and that's basically it and then I just go up and down here and I'm just going to saving them and messing with like the, the settings and stuff and that's basically it. <laughs> not sure if that was a really good explanation, but it's not really, I don't really do much. It's just brightness and exposure and all of that so that the colors also don't change too much from the real product. But yeah, that's basically what I do. And it's just going on and repeat and save all the files, basically. <laughs> editing photos um, but I want to talk a little bit about how I'm organizing myself for this not a shop update but like a sale second sale kind of thing if you have seen the last shop update vlog I don't know I was kind of disappointed because I created these expectations um, in my mind about the number of orders, how it was going to go. I didn't reach those numbers that I had in my head um, and even though that I had like a successful shop update, at least for the number of sales that I normally have and all of that, I still felt really disappointed but it was all about trying stuff out. It was the first time that I did shop update like during the week and stuff like that. So I would like to, I don't know, talk a little bit about what I'm changing this time and what I'm trying to improve um, and all of that and one of the things that I mentioned um, when I talked about the last shop update was that I felt like I was always rushing the shop update like I would spend um, a long time preparing the products doing the design and all of that and then in like a space of a week I would let everyone know on YouTube on Instagram um, when the shop update is going to go um, normally just a few days ahead and not uh, I didn't have like the time to promote it I didn't put time to you know in like two days I would take photos I would edit them and adding them to my website I didn't really share it a lot because I only had like the photos ready and all of that like two days prior to the shop update itself so this time even though I it was possible for me to make the shop update last week like if I would put more time into it um, and just focus on it I could add 
add like the photos ready on Friday, edit them and all of that and make the shop update on Sunday as I have made before. But I try to give myself some time. Like I, in my head was like, okay, I can make everything ready on this day. So I'm going to push it a week <laughs> um, later. Uh, because even though I can have all the products ready, all the photos and all of that, I want to dedicate a week just to, I don't know, chat it a bit, a bit more on Instagram, make some reels, make some more posts about it, um, also share the behind the scenes, but also having the time to really share about the products and all of that, and also having the time to plan the posts um, and plan the newsletter that I never did because I never had the time because it's always so rushed in just a few days um, so yeah I think that's going to be the biggest thing that I'm going to be changing um, with this shop update and the other thing I'm going to do it on the Sunday so when I did that last shop update I tried to pick more attention to when my audience is more on social media when stories work out the best when posts work out the best um, and try to play around with it and I realized, at least for me, it doesn't mean that this is going to work for everybody. I ran out of battery. But as I was saying, I started to realize that Sundays were the day that uh, work best for me. And that more people would interact with my content. So yeah, I'm trying to change these things around. Try some things new. And I've also realized that my audience, like... When you see studio vlogs and all of that, you always see these artists getting like, I don't know, hundreds of sales in the first hour, um, like people on the website waiting for the shop update to buy and all of that. And I think that was what made me sad uh, on the last few shop updates because that doesn't happen to me like I don't really have that thing of having like a bunch of sales um, in the first hour people waiting for my products to be released and all of that so I don't know I guess I I see that so much that I created those expectations for myself and I just realized that my audience doesn't really work like that and everyone will be different um so i can't really expect things to happen like they happen to someone else like even though i didn't have like a bunch of sales on my last shop update i did in march like the sales from that month were actually really good and i had um some sales like i don't have i don't know 50 sales a month or 100 sales a month but i have the sales that help me so keep supporting my business and making it possible and for me that makes me it's more than enough and it makes me already so so happy so I'm just trying to also see what it's like my normal and not my numbers and things compared to other people um, and just trying to compare myself with myself <laughs> and like with other shop updates and all of that and not trying to create these expectations because I just see um, th those things happening to other artists and shop owners and all of that so yeah i'm just trying new things out and see what might work for me for my audience and trying to improve it but not based on other things that i see other creators doing or how they work and all of that how they work for myself i hope that made sense i just thought i could share a little bit about that because i mentioned it um on previous vlogs um and i was feeling and all of that but i really didn't talk about how i was thinking about improving and changing it and trying things out so I guess those will be the major things for me it's like trying to give it a little bit more time so I can have the time to market it and share about it and also do those extra things like creating the post getting the stories ready so yeah I hope this will help you out in some way as well but always a reminder to try not to compare yourself to others try to see what works or might not but yeah i know that it's easier said than done and we always see these amazing artists and creators and we want what they want what they have but yeah just remember yourself that every audience is different um and everyone is different and everyone will grow at their own timings so yeah just thought i could mention that and yeah I'm going to keep going on editing photos <laughs>
it's now the next day and I'm actually at home. I'm not sure if the sound is too echoey because there's still not much on the walls and stuff like that. Um, but I mounted this little corner over here to like work from home when I want to and also have like a creative space in the whole house. I didn't have much space. Now I could bring like the old table that I had in the old studio um, here and have more space. So I can't wait to have like a creative room here uh, where I can paint and all that. Already brought all my art supplies that I had um, in the studio here. So yeah, let me show you what I've been up to. But first, this is the space over there. It's my boyfriend area. He's more into like electronics and stuff like that. So please don't mind that. Um, so yeah, I have some prints on the wall. This is actually from my nieces. She drew like characters from Frozen from memory. And I think it looks so, so good. Um, she's an amazing artist. So yeah, this is the corner. It's still like a work in progress, um, I guess. I have some books. I still want to put more things on the walls more prints and stuff and also some frames so it looks nicer uh but yeah this is the little space that i have here there's still like a bunch of stuff on the ground and stuff like that but i have all my art supplies in here so i can paint and draw and i can't wait for the weekend to do that as well but yeah this is the place that i have now and i've actually been uh, working on the newsletter here I actually already already sent um, this one out. So it's basically like um, talking about the second sale, what I'm going to have on the shop, just like some sneak peeks. But I'm actually super organized today. And now I've all, I already did like a newsletter to be sent on Sunday uh, once the second sale is live. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the email. Um, I always send a test print for myself, but even sometimes I don't even realize. And in the last email, I actually put March instead of April. Okay, so this is the email that I'm going to be sending out on Sunday. Um, I basically put divided into section. I talk about the bundles. Then I talk about all the other products and I always add like little buttons so people can go to the shop. And this email is basically going to be sent out um, at the time of the second sale. Uh, so everything will be sent out at the same time. I use MailChimp to send out my newsletters. I don't actually pay for it, so I can't really use the schedule function over here. Um, so I just need to come here on Sunday at the same time that I'm working working on like putting the posts and stories and stuff like that, I'll send the newsletter and then I can do everything at the same time because all ready to be sent out. I just need to click send and all of that. Okay, I'm going to the studio now so I can show you something that I'm thinking of adding to the site as well. So see you in a bit. I'm here, so let me show you. We have to go upstairs. Here it is. So I've been bringing some things from the old studio here because my mom needs a space to do like a little room, whatever, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I actually brought some things that I had in there and I totally forgot. Did some identification tag. Um, I have this one and I have some, where, like you can see I have them. I have a lot of them. And I also have some dinosaur ones and I think they look so so cute. I even did like the packaging and all of that but basically never finished them because then I bought my silhouette so and then I also have a lot of old notebooks even like this craft um, covers. It was like one of the first covers that I ever did but yeah as you can see I have a lot of unfinished notebooks here um so yeah i'm actually thinking about taking photos of them and adding them to the shop most of them still have like recycled paper that i use that is like yellowish um and it's mounted like this so they are not exactly a5 i think i'm going to have to i don't know uh put them um, on top or something but i think i'll figure it out and it will be cool to add them to the website and stuff so yeah i'm not sure how am i going to do that regarding the notebooks but i think i'm going to be adding at least the stickers and all of that uh, because as you can see i have a bunch of them so yeah i'm going to take the bag downstairs and we'll figure it out how to do that 
and yeah i still need to do that i also still need to take some photos of like all the product and then i can use it for stories and for posts and stuff like that on sunday so i still want to do that and i also try to use those photos to create like banners for the website and all of that but it's super fast i just need to put them on the table Ugh, this keeps changing the light why this camera is so annoying but yeah i just need to put them in the table and just take photos of them all together and all of that but i'm actually feeling super organized and it's so cool to i don't know give myself an extra week to take care of these bits um that are so important but i always left them last minute and i didn't really um did much about them so yeah i'm really really excited and i can wait to see how it works uh, making these changes and all of that but yeah i'm going to end this studio vlog here but before i finish i want to talk about this week's sponsor skillshare if you haven't heard about skillshare i don't know where have you been because i basically talk a lot about them um, in these videos they are an amazing creative community full of videos about so so many subjects like illustration marketing entrepreneurship design a lot more other subjects so basically there's classes for everyone if you are uh, beginning something there's beginner classes but if you also want to deep some knowledge in some things like illustration and stuff there's also classes um, in a deeper level and I really really enjoy that you can save classes I basically like to divide things like I do the same on Instagram and all of that like I save them in little folders depending on the classes I have uh, folders like for lettering for uh, illustration for marketing for I don't know I have classes for everything and I like to divide them and if I'm struggling with something or in a certain month I want to learn something more about a certain subject I know that I can go to that folder where I save those classes and just go through them something that I really really enjoyed as well is that you can follow teachers so if I see a class that I like and I like that teacher and how uh, they explain things and stuff uh, I can follow them and I receive like notifications and emails and stuff every time that teacher um, puts something new a new class or something about that which I really really enjoy so I can keep up to date a lot easier and don't really get lost in all the information I'm taking a class right now of how to insert characters um, in environments which is something that I really Really struggle with um, so yeah I'm really really enjoying that and taking classes about environment painting um, uh, character poses if you have seen my videos from this year you know that one of my goals for this year was to improve my illustration to improve my characters and to improve my environment so it has been super interesting to see how people do stuff regarding those subjects if you want to try Skillshare you can use use my code a finish illustrator and you can find the link in the description um, they are giving the first 1000 subscribers a month free uh, on Skillshare Premium so don't forget to use that link and use my code Apenas Illustrator if you want to start um, your creative journey today and thank you so much for Skillshare to sponsor another video here on my channel and that is it for this week i really hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy seeing a little bit more about the behind the scenes of my shop um the hearings i already tried to um organize myself and i'm going to do the second sale now and i'll probably do the earrings um like pre-order in the end of april uh so hopefully if everything goes according to plan Plan the earrings pre-ordered and necklaces and all of that will be in the last week of april but i'll keep you guys posted all about that and yeah i'll see you guys next week bye bye <laughs>